Here we have a couple of problems about angle measures in circle graphs. In this first one, we have a list of genres of books uh, sold in a bookstore, and then they've broken them down by the, the percent of the total sales, which is pretty nice when you have this broken down by percent. Sometimes you'll get a problem where it's just the numbers of books. Um, but with percents, uh, this is pretty easy. Uh, basically, we want the slice of this this pie here representing self-help to be 16.4 percent of the angles in a circle. So we know the angles, the total angles in a circle, 360. So we just need to take 16.4 percent of that. With percents, when we multiply, we move the decimal two places to the left. So we're going to multiply 360 by 0.164, and that is going to give us the angle degree that we need. And let's see, 360 times 0.164, just using my calculator here, and we've got 59.04 degrees. So this angle, x right here, should be 59.04 to represent 16.4% of this circle. If you had a problem like this where it was just numbers of books, so let's say there was, you know, 37 out of a total of 750 books, it's this fraction that you'd multiply by 360 to get an angle. In the case of a percent, we just multiply by the percent after moving that decimal point. Let's look at one more problem uh, like this. In this one, we're given an angle measure, and we're being asked to figure out what percentage of the votes um, this person got. So here's a graph that represents candidates in an election. Uh, it says there were 3,200 total votes, uh, and here's the circle graph that accurately rep represents this. Nguyen got 79.2, so how many votes, uh, what percent of the votes they're asking uh, did he get? Well, we're going to do this like the last one, except backwards. Remember, it was 360 times the percent, so I'll just put an x in there. That's going to equal our angle, 79.2. To solve for x here, I need to divide by 360. So let me pull up my calculator again. So 79.2 divided by 360. And I got 0.22. And then when we convert a decimal back to a percentage, we're going to move the decimal two places. So this is 22% of the vote. And if you were asked how many votes did this person get, you could take 22% of the total and find out the number of votes. So that is a little bit of work with angle measures in circle graphs.